Hi, Carmen. Well, I'm actually at Little River Bar here in Hartford. And like you said, it is a very controversial topic. Some people say they're all for it. They want to sit right here at this bar until 4 a.m. And they want other people to have those opportunities as well, while other people are saying absolutely not. James Tardif raises his glass to the proposal. Uh, people want to go out and enjoy a drink. They should be able to enjoy a drink. Right now, whether you're letting loose or hanging out with your friends, the last call for alcohol in Connecticut bars is 2 a.m. But the proposal in the state legislature would allow bars to be open and serve alcohol until 4 a.m. The first step is these nine cities in the state to test it out through a pilot program. But this idea isn't marked by high spirits for all. I don't want to be here till four. I don't want my staff here till four. If others want to do it, there's certainly a place for it. I'm sure there's a crowd for it. Um, but for us, we'll maintain our normal hours. Dante Buffy, who owns Four Dads Pub, says that things aren't like they used to be. Over time, uh, that dynamic has changed. Um, we get a lot of feedback from folks happy that when we have bands or live music, it's starting at 7 or 8, not 10 or 11. People like Hartford City Councilman T.J. Clark says he sees both sides. Yes, I think that, you know, you're trying to um, put some uh, more businesses revenue into these uh, bars and restaurants, uh, but to, there is a public safety element I think that uh, cannot go without uh, being discussed. Like a good drink, this proposal bringing down mixed reactions. There's an old saying that nothing good happens after midnight. I, I firmly believe that. I won't be out till 4 a.m. personally, but you know what? Power to you if you want to be out. Now, Councilman Clark also says he hopes that other city council members and people that are in the government, that they go door by door to the neighbors who live in these entertainment districts to get their opinions as well, if this does become a thing. But right now, there is no solution to this resolution. For now, here in Hartford, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61 News.